Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a pack and get ready with me to go to California. Cope and I are leaving tomorrow to go to California, visit my family and some really good friends of mine. So I'm very, very excited, but I still have quite a bit to do. I just took a shower. My hair is still a little wet from it, but hopped in the shower. I figured if I wash my hair today, then I don't have to wash it for the first couple of days of the trip. And I still have to pack everything. I have been laying everything on our guest room bed just to try to lay everything out and make sure I have everything. My brain just works better that way. Don't mind the noises if you hear Cove. He is eating with Brecken in the kitchen right now. But I have also made a list, like a written list, of everything I want to bring. I'm just slowly going through it. There's still some things that I knew I was going to have to use today or that I'm going to have to use tomorrow before we leave. So I've just been kind of waiting to pack, but today's the day because we leave tomorrow and our flight's at 7 a.m., which means we board at like 6.30 a.m. And since it's just gonna be Cove and I, I know that we need to get there decently early because it's gonna be a little bit longer of a process. It's definitely gonna take us more time to get through security with just us, especially with having a stroller and his formula and everything that they're probably gonna have to check. And I'm checking in his car seat and his car seat base. So we're gonna have to wait in line and do all that. So yes, it's just gonna be an early morning and it's gonna be a long day traveling by myself with a nine month old. <laughs> so I wanna make sure that I get everything done in a reasonable amount of time, like a, a reasonable time tonight. That way we can go to bed early and have everything ready so we can just grab Cove, make sure he's good and then leave. I wanna be as prepared as possible because <laughs> I have missed flights before. I have, I think it twice. One time I completely slept through my alarm. Did I sleep through my alarm? I don't know if I slept through my alarm or if I set my alarm for the wrong time. Either way, completely missed my flight. And then another time we left at a decent time. We were gonna have like an hour before flight left. Actually, I think it was just me going to California to see my family. I was gonna have an hour before flight left to go and I still had to check in a bag and stuff. Yeah, well, we hit really, really, really crazy traffic. And so I wouldn't have technically missed my flight, but they weren't gonna let me check in my bag because they said they weren't taking bags anymore. So I ended up missing my flight and I had to take the next one. So point of the story is I wanna have everything perfect, ready to go, sitting by the door because I don't wanna miss this flight. So come along with us as we pack and prep for our travel tomorrow. Hello, hello. If you can't tell, I am in the car and I am heading to Target right now. I just feel like lately, every time I vlog, I'm in the car. I don't know if that's, I don't know. I don't know why that is. It just happens to be like that, I guess. But anyways, I am driving by myself, so I'm gonna let you guys go because I really enjoy my drives by myself. <laughs> I really do. Being a stay-at-home mom, and with Brecken working quite a bit, I am pretty much a cove all the time. And when Brecken's off, we really enjoy spending time together and hanging out. So we run our errands together. Like we'll go to Target together. We'll go to Home Depot together. We just enjoy doing things together when he's off. So I don't feel like there's many times where it's just me in this stage of life. I either have cove or I have Brecken and cove, you know, so. It's really nice to have little drives by myself and play the music as loud as I want, any song I want, and have the sunroof open and all that fun stuff. So <laughs> I'm gonna do that and enjoy myself and I will see you guys when we get to Target. Target trip was a success. I found everything that I needed. Besides the actual formula I was looking for, I got the formula that he uses, but I couldn't find a small container, which makes sense because you can hardly find formula anywhere anymore. But I ended up getting a pack with two of the refills. I figured I would just put one of the, sorry, the car just parked next to me, so I put the camera lower so they didn't see. But I figured I could put one of the unopened like refill bags in the diaper bag. And then because it's like a squishy bag, I figured I could just 
shove the other one in the suitcase. Anyways, it was a success. I totally forgot that I should have went to the bank, which was by Starbucks. So now I have to go back, do my thing there, and then I will head back. And then I will start to get things going for actual packing because I still have not packed yet. It's only 10.51, so I'm not feeling too rushed or crazy, but I definitely need to get it done so I don't have to worry about it. Hello, I am back home and it is time to pack. So I am in the guest room. I will show you the little behind the scenes. Sorry, it's a little echoey in here. I have the door shut because Brickin and Cove are in the living room. This is the little behind the scenes. That is, that is everything I'm trying to pack. So I'm also gonna try to make a little TikTok out of it. That's this little setup here. So I'm gonna try my best. This is my little list and I put a little X next to the things that I put here and then I'm going to completely cross them off as I put them in the suitcase. So we're just gonna go for it and see what happens. I am officially done packing for the most part. Filming my packing TikTok. I don't think it took very long to make, like to actually film, but I feel like it's gonna take a long time to edit. In my packing TikTok, I did our suitcase, the diaper bag, and my fanny pack. It's nice because I had to pack anyways, but now it's content and also, I packed everything up for the video, but I had to take a few things out that we still need for tonight. So majority of our things are packed, but there are still some things that I have to put back in tomorrow morning before we leave. I'm going to share with you what I packed. Obviously my stuff isn't very important, but maybe you're interested in what I packed to travel alone with a nine month old on an airplane. So I'm going to share. Our suitcase obviously has like all of his clothes, toothbrush, lotion, soaps, swimsuits, sunscreen, like all of that good stuff that he needs. His hat, his little sun hat, all of those basics. But I feel like the real question is what's in the diaper bag? Because the diaper bag is what I'm gonna have on me the entire time. And that is what we're going to live out of, I guess, <laughs> during the day while we're at the airport. So let me show you what's in the diaper bag. I already packed it up, so I don't wanna pull like everything, everything out. But like, of course we have the basics wipes which i put a brand new pack of wipes in there so i don't have to worry about running out i packed like 10 diapers which should be enough i packed two of these go go squeeze apple sauces because he loves them and then i also packed two of these happy baby fruit and veggie pouches which i picked up from target when i was there earlier i packed a brand new unopened thing of his his organic Gerber baby puffs his happy baby creamies he really loves these as well I picked up these while I was at Target and then this probably looks really janky but when I was at Target like I said I looked for a small thing of his formula just so it would be easier to travel with but they didn't have any they only had humongous ones so I just got the refill packs which is what we normally buy anyways I also brought a extra outfit. I am going to keep them in PJs, but I did bring an extra just onesie and a pair of shorts, a short sleeve onesie and a pair of shorts in case he gets hot or in case he goes to the bathroom and it gets all over his outfit. So I brought that just in case, better safe than sorry. I also packed a couple of 
these happy baby teethers that he really loves. I packed four of those. I did pick up a pack while I was at Target because we were all out. I also brought two little books, a little teether, it's a whale. I packed a changing pad, of course. I'm also going to be putting in here in the morning because they're on his car seat right now, but he has his little teething rings. But that is what I packed in the diaper bag. I might be missing some things that are in here, but that I forgot to mention. Of course, bottles. Bottles are in here. That's really it. That is what I packed. I went down my written list and I have everything marked off. Everything's checked, ready to go. So hopefully I'm not missing anything. I will link my packing TikTok in the description if you guys want to go ahead and watch that as well. This seems like a perfect opportunity to close out the video. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below. It will help me on my journey to reaching a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So if you haven't already, like and subscribe down below. I appreciate you watching and I hope you enjoyed it. My next video will be my California trip. So stay tuned for that video. Bye.